Welcome to Mastering Kind Master Tutorials Narrated in English. So what we're going to work with today is we're talking about keyframes. What keyframes are is keyframes are a way to animate content that are not built into the built-in animations. Keyframes work with um, layers and they work with text and they work with effects, but they do not work with clips. And so what we have on this screen is we have a black background uh, as a clip, which I have added because as I said, is that you cannot use this feature with clips. And then what I want to do is I want to have um, this image that I took of this character Domo. I want him to fade in and I want to be able to see him fully and the tree behind him. And I want this to be set up like this, but then I want this to text to come over. And so as you can see, when we arrive at the text, the text is over uh, him. I want the text to be on the left hand side for whatever my purposes are. And I want to be able to read the text and see him. So if I put kind of a black background in between behind the text, that would make the text more clear. He would kind of disappear. What I really want is I want him over here. So this, we can really read this white on black, and then he's standing over here. We don't see the tree anymore, but that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to undo what I just did for a second, and we're going to move over, and we're going to get into the keyframes, and we're going to put keyframes on this layer with the little character. And so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to the place where we want to start him moving. All right, and so I'm going to have him start to move a little bit before the letters come on the screen. And so you can see when I select this, if you look on the left hand column, um, then there's a little thing, but the third thing down on the left hand side, it looks just like a key. So when we hit it, then the right hand column, um, you can see now it says animation and it's got a little thing that is what is to be ability to add a keyframe. And once you add keyframes, what keyframes are is points in time where you can make changes to certain aspects of your content. And you can change the position, you can change the scale of it, you can change the rotation of it all uh, over your time frame. So you can have this will stay, he's fading in, and at the three second mark, I'm going to say is I want to add a keyframe. Now, if I change it to the yellow surrounding, you can see now there's a red dot right on the line where we put it's a it's a red dot with a white circle around it. You can't see it that great, but it's there. So I'm going to move away and I'm going to say, OK, this is the spot where I want for him to be all the way over to the side. And so we're going to make this graphic slide over to the side. So I'm going to add a keyframe there. And now you can see that actually I can navigate between the keyframes. And now you can kind of better see the first one we put at 3.132. And then if I hit move to the right to the keyframe, then it comes over to that new keyframe that we put. <clears throat> And so we're just going to drag our image over to the side. So I'm going to put my finger on it and I'm going to drag him sideways. And now if I go to back in the timeline, oh, look at that. He moved sideways and you can see that he got into the position that we wanted. And obviously that is not a animation style that's built into the default animations that you have. So we're going to finish off this animation by putting him back where he came from after the text disappears. This also just shows that you can put keyframes anywhere that you want. There's no specific time and you can set them however you want. So right now I'm setting this up to place another keyframe here. And I go ahead and put that keyframe down and then I just navigate back and you can see that if I click those arrows up there, then it navigates to the previous keyframes because I want to see um, how it's gonna, how it looks in relation to where those actually were before. So now that we have this last keyframe, then I'm gonna scale him up. He's gonna be in a different position. He's gonna scale up and now you can see that what happens is, is he comes in, the text comes in, he moves to the side, and then we made our motion for him to go away, both scaling up and moving to the side. 
So that's the basics of keyframes for you. If you want some more information, I'm going to continue, but the, if you want to just test with the basics right there. But here are some important parts. If you're thinking or you use keyframes in other applications or you're wondering, can I do things like keyframe something like, let's say, the opacity, have something fade in and be able to do it at my own time frame because, you know, there is the predefined fade in. Unfortunately, right now, you cannot uh, keyframe other properties. If you change a property such as the opacity, it changes for your entire duration of the layer. So even if you think, oh, I set this to 40% at this keyframe and I had it set before at 100%, no, actually it's just at whatever percent that you have it. Even though you put a keyframe there, the opacity does not change. As you can kind of see here, I had just moved the opacity, but when it's back up to 100%, then it is 100%. Maybe in the future they will do Kind Master to have this feature. That would be great. But for now, it's just the things that I've talked about that can be manipulated. A couple of things to wrap up. Keyframes can be used with any type of layer. I used a photo as my media, but also you can use video as long as it's a layer. It can be animated in its rotation, size, and position. It, it does work with text and one thing else that I didn't show it worth, works with, it works with effects. With effects, it basically allows you to animate the size rotation of the area of coverage of the effect. Especially with effects, I wish that it was able to manipulate and keyframe the parameters, but it cannot do that right now. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I explained well how to use keyframes with KindMaster. It's a really powerful feature of this excellent app for your phone. Stay tuned for more content. If you like the channel, please subscribe and come back and look for more. I'm doing everything from basic to more complicated things. So stop in and see what's going on with mastering KindMaster with English language tutorials. Thanks for stopping by.